2021 Bluebird Vision propane bus, generation four propane bus, 6.8 liter, six speed transmission. Got a little hack for you today. Before I tell you what I've done, I've got two or three of these to talk about, but let's make a little disclaimer here. I'm going to show you what I did. I ain't saying that you should, or but you, it's up to you to do what you do. I do what I do. I take no no credit or no blame. But I'm going to show you a few things I've done to improve the running of this bus. Because where we're at, the hills we climb, the terrain that we're on, it's just not built right. It don't have the the torque and the the shift where it needs to be at the right time and we labor them pretty hard to get over the hills here but for the first one here we go you know this is you're in the tube going to your breather box or your filter box I got to looking at this I've done this a good while ago so I can't show you how I done it I can show you what I did but I noticed Every time I open the box, old filter is always nasty looking. I mean, it don't take long at all to get dirty. And I couldn't figure out where all this greasiness is coming from. This ain't as bad as greasy, but it still has the dirt. The first couple ones I changed was just almost greasy feeling. And I know they say if you overfill the engine, well, what we've been told that it will the oil has to go somewhere and it will actually wind up in the breather box but it won't wind up on the bottom of the filter it should be at the top if it's blowing back through it this is coming in the bottom so I got to look at this tube and I folded inside the box and I noticed they were a gap big enough for me to stick my fingers through their little snap in tube here didn't seal off so what I done, I took some regular silicone, some black RTV, and rubbed it around and sealed it as best I could all the way around, which the bottom ain't probably as good as it needs to be. But I pushed it up in there best I could. I know when they probably designed it to snap in there, and in theory it should have sealed off the hole pretty well, but I got a feeling that's where some of the black was coming from and some of the oily residue was coming from. But it also does another thing for the bus. The way this box is sitting, it's in under the fender wells. It sits, you know, in here. Which means it's sitting inside the engine compartment and it's always hot inside the engine compartment. And in summertime, it's going to suck hot air around this. You say, well, it ain't that much. Well, it, it's enough to change the temperature reading for the engine. The, air temp the avian temperature of the engine, or the avian temperature of the air going to the engine will rise because it's sucking really hot air out of this engine com compartment and mixing with the cool air that's coming in the front. It will actually improve the, somewhat improve the power of the engine. They have a, a bad case of, I call it sagging or choking off when it shifts from second before it gets to third it has a a bad gap in the torque and horsepower for some reason when we start sealing these off you can notice a little difference it helps keep some of the heat out of the engine compartment from going inside which would keep the temperature lower for the engine which at a lower temperature you should get a little more fuel and I think that helped round things out Although the filter is still pretty black, that hadn't been in there long. That's probably 5,000 miles worth. It ain't as greasy. I mean, you can see it's still got it in there, but. And it's still getting it off the road or somehow out of the front of this engine. But that's one of the things I did, and I think it helped it. I think sealing it off and getting pure clean air does help the way it runs better. 
I've got a couple of these ideas I need to show you, so we'll call this one number one. Thank you for watching.